Hello again YouTube from the CNC cave. Had have had some time to play with the Emco again and starting to get get pretty close to the finished product here. So everything is running. Just waiting for the turret control card that is just about the only thing that's missing still. And the coolant coolant pumps not it's not connected yet but we'll get to that. And we need to plug in the light somewhere here. But those are just minor things. Let's go back here. You can see the wiring mess. The wires are still tangling around here. Now I have the VFD mounted mounted to the cabinet frame like so. It'll stay outside for now. I don't have room for it anywhere else. I think I put some kind of small cover that it doesn't attract so much dust into the into the VFD. But yeah, control cabinet looks like this now. I mounted the relay board and the encoder en encoder board for the turret into the wall and I just need to close this up when I get the missing guard to there. But everything is now functional. Just need to tidy up the wiring, maybe shorten the servo feed wires some because they are very long. They are crisscrossing everywhere. And I'm thinking about it if I'm going to take apart all the connectors and shorten the connector, the connecting wires to the control cabinet that goes there or if I'm just going to wound them up neatly behind the machine. If we get no errors, I think I just might do that because the wires are long, there's many pins that need to be soldered again, and they are all crimped inside the connectors, so it's going to be a lot of work to get that done neatly. But the, uh, I mounted the this five volt step down regulator there from 10, 24 volts to five volts because the relay board is five volts and I didn't have enough 24 volt relays because the control system is NPN like everything else but the stupid VFD wants PNP for some odd reason it wants to pull 24 volts it wants to pull the inputs high to 24 volts when activating and normally they are synced down to 0 volts so I don't know what's up with that but that's pretty stupid so I needed to convert those to to the MPN so I can use the use the control board but yeah you do what you must and how you must do it I don't know if the regulator is going to survive so long but I need to figure this out one out and use a couple of transistors and two and two resistors to make the connection or get 24 volt relays sometime but for now it works and it's going to stay like that forever if it works if it doesn't work then i'm going to do something about it i'm too lazy to do anything that is not needed but yeah we have 1500 rpm Requested and let's see, spindle forward. We get 1480 some RPM, so 
I think it's close enough. I'm not going to start fiddling with 20 RPM. Uh, and on this machine, when it's M3, it's for the tools, it's M3. It's normal. It rotates counterclockwise because the tools are ups, upside down in the turret because the turret is what you call backside of the spindle. So we need to turn it the other way around because they're upside down. But yeah, that's M3 and M4 is of course the other way around. If I take some left hand tools, then the spindle goes clockwise while it's on the left hand and tools it's counterclockwise. But yeah, what does that do? Oh! Wow, well, well, that's interesting. I can jog the spindle. Ah, nice feature. But yeah, now we have coolant input needs needs to be done but yeah I think this is enough for this late conversion again still very pleased with the controller all the parameters are good and oh yeah when changing the parameters on this one you better you better watch the manual Read the manual, because if you're changing... Oops, I already went too far. Encoder pulses per revolution, it's 600. Mm, it's 150 pulses per revolution, this encoder. But it counts all the four pulses, rising and falling slope, so it's four times. But it says that on the manual, I put just what was in the encoder 150 and I was amazed that I'm getting only a quarter of a turn from 360 so it's four pulses per revolution because it's differential encoder and rising and falling edge but yeah that was just something I wanted to mention Oh yeah, everything works. Homing, turret, turret logic is working, RPM logic is working, and so machine is about ready. When I get the turret card and I get the turret to lock into the pole, so but yeah. Anyway, that's that's for that. If you have any questions, put them down below. If you want to subscribe, it's nice, but it's not mandatory. And you all stay safe. Have a nice day and bye.